everyone, we are the number one group of corporate communication team. I am Christina, this is Team C, this is Shutter, and this is Victoria. We are talking about the case of Spring Cruise Line, since it is suffering from two issues. One is the damaged buildings, and the two is the, dam is the broken engine. We are aiming to illustrate our way to help Spring Cruise deal with this emergency issue. Now, I am going to talk about audience analysis. First, we need to communicate with the ship's passengers and employees. Because the contents in Marianne's Facebook caused all the people in the, board, in the board talk about the loud variation. So we need to explain to them and talk about the compensation with them. Also, we need to communicate with the employees in these two buildings since they also need our explanation and they need our compensation because we damaged their workplace and some of them have to stop working. Third, we need to communicate with the local government because our ship damages several small but historical buildings. So the government needs our explanation and the sewing plans. Okay, well, I'm going to talk about the communication channels. Uh, there are two groups of audience in two separate situations in this case. As to the question that which communication channels we should choose to tell each audience, we think it should be based on the different situations. The first one is the damaged building, which may be caused by the launch of the cruise vessel. The audience should be not only the two damaged buildings of the company, but also the residents who live on the shore. We think the best way to communicate with the audience is to use, use the local media to have an announcement. Since the purpose of this channel is to generate positive public opinion and reduce any fears of the public, we think it's the most suitable choice for, the, for this issue. And, and also, the local media has its authority to announce the important issue so that the message will be persuasive and acceptable for the audiences. And then, for the passengers in the ship, since, since there are 1,200 people in it, and most of them are middle-aged and people or seniors, they may not be familiar with uh, new communication media such as Twitter or Facebook. So uh, we think that the captain should have a living video announcement through the media in the ship to tell the passengers about the emergency so that everyone will know about it. Moreover, uh, since they are already had the message about the noise in the Twitter by a passenger named Mandy Marina. So the top manager of Spree Cruise Nice to the issue an official announcement in the Twitter to express, express the latest situation of the ship. And uh, by doing so, on the one hand, it will uh, calm down the passengers in the ship, and on the other hand, it will protect the reputation of the company. Thank you. Hi, I'm Victoria. I'm going to talk about who will be the rational spokesperson uh, from the Spree Cruise Line. We think there are two people should be the spokesperson. First, Captain Golali is the top leader on the cruise. Uh, Captain, Captain Golali has the responsibility to stand out and face the people in order to explain what happened in that trip. The passengers have the right to know what happened on that cruise and the passengers' family are afraid so that they need to understand the whole story from the trip. Captain should notice the situation immediately and then find an appropriate solution. Captain should let the passenger realize what happened as soon as possible. The second person is Tara Hopes. She's the manager of corporate communication for Spree. She's not on the cruise when the things happened. However, we think she, she still needs to apologize for the unstable passenger and public people in order to keep the reputation for free, Spree. Spree Cruise Line should create some convenient solution for the passengers to communicate with captain or other staff because the passengers' voice are very important. Tara also gets the responsibility to stand out to be another rational spokesperson because the noise makes 
the building being damaged, the spray cross line, they must find a good way to remedy the householders, such as compensations or help them fix the building for free or etc. Overall, we think Tara Hoops and the Captain Galali are both responsible to be the spokesperson. Next. I want to talk about what specific messages we want to convey to the audience. First of all, there are two groups of people except spree cruise lines in this case. We need to deal with the damages of the buildings and the emergency happened on the ship separately. For the damage of the buildings, we need to estimate the extent of damage and compensation for the building. This information will be included in the speech. Besides, we need to ask for forgiveness from those who are influenced by the damaged buildings and we will try to ease them. Next, discussing the issue of the ship. Although there is an itinerary of tickets prove that the spree would reimburse only $30 per person if there was any changes for the routes according to the emergency issue. This is not totally a problem caused by the weather. It mentioned in the case that the ship was ready to be repaired in month so that it might occur this damage unit problem due to the trip. The spree did not notify the audience about this so that this accident may be part of the fault. A specific message sent to each audience may ease them and let them feel cared and understood by the company about what they are understanding currently. This message can be told by the captain or sent by email. More details included in the message will get more forgiveness for the issue, which is related to the audience feelings. The feedback from the audience will influence the cost and the reputation of the in the future. Therefore, specific messages make more sense for each audience. Overall, depending on the process we have conducted, there will be a happy ending. 